I've got a lot out of tennis. I've got to see the world, I've got to travel, I've got to meet a lot of great people. And, and part of coaching is, is not just teaching them the game, but teaching them that love of the game. I like how there's so many strategies and that each player is different and nobody is like when they're on the tennis court. I guess what trips my trigger is I love the enthusiasm of a new player that doesn't know how fun it is and, until that moment. And I see it in their face that they're excited that they just hit a shot that they've never hit before. The most rewarding part about my job is giving a kid the opportunity to have a life sport, something they can do when they're 80, um, they can do it with their family, uh, they can do it with friends. When you play tennis, you don't have to have a team. You just need one other person. You need to have a racket and some tennis shoes. You've got parks where you can play tennis, but you need to know how to play the game. Taking the game to the community is a way that uh, we've come up with to allow our programming to expand throughout the entire community. This is unique. This doesn't happen everywhere. Uh, tennis, with that country club stereotype, uh, oftentimes limits itself in the pool of people that it can work with and the opportunities for fitness or um, camaraderie, sportsmanship. We're able to allow that opportunity for everyone. When Kevin first started here about six years ago, uh, there was down to about 25 to 30 kids in the program. Um, we've recently just finished our biggest session and it was just under 300 kids. Most of my work is with the junior program, really from the first time they pick up a racket all the way through to kind of a national level. I think when you're with them, and, and some of the kids I'm with just once or twice a week, others I see five or six times a week, just in various forms, and I think the most rewarding thing is, is almost not just on court and teaching them the game, but teaching them how to be the person they want to become off the court as well. Well, I tell you, Woods has been such a rock for us as wheelchair players. They have been so accommodating um, to meet our needs because we do have special needs. We as a group, there's quite a few of us that actually travel all over the country play a lot of national tournaments, and then we get to play, at the end of the season, a large U.S. Open for wheelchair tennis. Well, personally, um, I say it like this a lot of times. When I'm on the tennis court, practice or in a tournament, I don't even know that there's outside life. I enjoy that time of just tennis. I'm 59 years old now. I started playing when I was 17. And I play because it's fun. And that's the beauty of tennis. You, you can play when you're young, and, and you know your, your game isn't the same when you're 59 years old or when you're 69 years old, but it's a game for everybody. One of the things I really like about our tennis program is in the programs that Woods Tennis uh, does off campus, helping the kids who are not always exposed to tennis and giving them the opportunity to learn how to play the game. We've had a lot of success, I think, with tennis here at Elliott. We've seen some individual students that their behaviors have changed because they have this very successful experience with a methodical tennis game after school. It calms them down. You know, during the school day, we're seeing a change in their behavior. Just some really great things. At Woods Tennis Center, we, we also work with several other schools within the community. We provide uh, match play opportunities for all of the Lincoln Public Schools and all the private schools. Uh, and in addition, we, we host several small college events. The people here really are invested in, in uh, 
growing sport, but just seeing these kids through their high school career and, and making the best players out of them they can. What they do inside translates to the, to the matches outside. Yeah, tennis is doing is alive and well in Lincoln, Nebraska, and I, it has an awful lot to do with what's going on here at Woods. Over the last six years, we've built the programming to a point that there's no more place to go, and we're currently operating under conditions that are 30 years outdated. The bubbles, when they were first erected, were expected to have a life expectancy of 12 to 15 years. We think that those bubbles are now 19 and 22 years old. We're on borrowed time, and I hear that weekly from patrons. At Woods Tennis Center, we're looking to replace the bubbles with a permanent structure that would allow us to match the level of our programming for the next 50 years. It will continue to allow growth for all segments of the population, which is our mission. I think everybody ends up winning. I think we have the kids win because they have a place that uh, is able to support tennis professionals that can teach. We have the adults that win because they have time, they have the time and, and places to play. And I think the community wins because when you have a facility like that, it can attract people to Lincoln. I mean, this is, this is gonna be a facility that is not like anything else in the Missouri Valley. I have a passion for changing lives. That's what I have a passion for. The game of tennis has given me that opportunity to continue to change people's lives through the game of tennis. I've learned a lot of things from tennis since I started so young. Like, when I started, I used to not have the greatest attitude on the court. I mean, I wouldn't like flip out or anything, but I've learned to calm myself when I don't win certain things and to just to be more of a nice person. Once a athlete comes out and tries it, they get, they get that energy to be excited about it and that, but I think it's more than that. I think it's truly a form of rehabilitation. I think coming out and doing a stressful or heavy duty activity that's still fun is a way for them to actually heal. Ken and I still play tennis together. We have a standing date every noon hour. We like that people had a vision for tennis before we came and we are very happy to be in the position to set the stage for people who come after us to have a better tennis facility.